the ramp from novice to expert with these uh, stroking keyboards, gesture keyboards, is a very reasonably smooth ramp. Jacob Wobrock, a UW iSchool associate professor, is interested in making it easier for people with disabilities to use a computer. When engineers and designers put together computer systems and put together software and interfaces, uh, there are certain implicit assumptions that are made. Those input devices, uh, that software, the mouse, the keyboard, these things uh, assume a certain level of dexterity, a certain level of human ability. But not all humans have, have those abilities, and yet our software is ignorant of those things. You see here how the angles diverge a lot at the end. So Wobrock is developing new software solutions with some of his PhD students at the iSchool. One of the creations he's collaborated on is the Angle Mouse, funded by Microsoft, Intel, and the National Science Foundation. This pointing facilitation program improves the efficiency and ease of mouse pointing, especially for people with motor impairments. When all of us try to acquire uh, little targets on the screen, we move in a fairly straight line towards those targets because we're moving with more force. That's what we call a ballistic movement. But then as we try to get inside those little targets at the end of our movement, at the last mile, so to speak, we do a lot of corrections. We do a lot of um, fine-tuning of the mouse position. That fine-tuning becomes next to impossible for people who have impaired motor skills. When a person with a motor impairment moves to a target far away, they move with more force, and so their angles have a pretty tight spread. But then as they get near the target and have to make these corrections, uh, we can see the angles really diverge as they have a challenge getting in the target. And so what the angle mouse does is when it observes those little corrections we make at the end of those movements, it effectively slows down the mouse cursor, kind of like when a race car takes a corner slowly and then goes fast in the straightaways. Another innovation developed by Wobrock and a team of colleagues is the pointing magnifier. It's an accessibility tool that turns the mouse cursor into a larger, circular area cursor capable of magnifying its content. So you can see my, my cursor is no longer just a point, but it's an area. And as a result, all I have to do to use this is place it over the target I want. And the important thing to know about this area cursor is it acts as a lens. So let's say I want to click on this little shift checkbox here, and I have a motor impairment uh, that makes it maybe difficult. I don't have to put a single little point cursor in that box. I can put this entire area cursor in the box. And when I click, I get a magnified view of that area. And then within that, I can select a much bigger now checkbox that is there. Wolbrock hopes the angle mouse and pointing magnifier will help people with disabilities get the information they need to go about their lives. Looking for people to find it useful and hopefully uh, help overcome some of those impairments that make computers hard to use for people with different disabilities.